And guys, before you start your morning, don't forget to eat your breakfast. Three fresh eggs. Mmm. a little bit help with the coconut to open it up and of course it's not easy to open this one but mostly of the time it's technique and raw power <laughs> so I remember all those coconuts I opened I really struggled for half an hour to open up my first coconut. <laughs> my babe really laughed at me, but when I broke home and helped me, schmuck, it said just two seconds, duk, duk, and it was open. So it has a lot to do with technique. And like I said, oh, rough thing. So now, when the easy support is done, I can just rip this off like that. And now you see I'm starting to get to the nut that's in the middle here. So Now and like 
like they expected it was like a bomb. This one we're in a perfect age to make oil of it. So that's a stubborn one. I don't really want to let go. I guess I do it this wrong way, but this one we're stubborn. I guess it's because it's stuck here. Okay, now it's not good. Oh. Step two is to clean this out of all the dirt and I will stop scratch it out for me. So I'll be right back to you guys and yeah, see you soon. special tools uh, they use in Philippines so what I'm going to do now is to grind this meat into pieces and then squeeze it out for fresh coconut milk they use it in foods uh, I usually use it on chicken curry or other foods they have something called ibos and yeah a lot of good foods with coconut milk so that's kind of nice, but <laughs> now I'm going to do coconut uh, oil of this. And the coconut oil, we usually use it on the skin when we massage or when we go into shower, maybe one hour before. They use like hot oil, they call it, and put it in the hair to get a smooth, nice hair instead of uh, conditioner. So, totally organic. Uh, yeah, and it works works really good. What do you say with it? Yeah. It's good for the tummy too. Yeah, when for she was pregnant, marks, I uh, put it on the tummy. So it helps uh, for stretch marks too. And we have we see from the brother. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and the baby there. <laughs> and the baby. <laughs> Matatlos and nine. Look at this thing. By uncle. <laughs> oh, so that's the brother to my waifu. So this, uh, this is his tools. Uh, he's the one uh, making coconut, uh, like grind coconut I'm doing now for the chickens around here. So use it as a mineral, right? Mineral and uh, different uh, like uh, vitamin substance for the chickens. Really healthy for them. Mm. And you get good eggs, organic produced eggs. My favorite. So you get that, uh, like uh, if you go to the store and buy eggs, you notice that if you open the egg and look at the yellow part in the middle, it's not supposed to be yellow, bright yellow, like uh, sunshine yellow, you know, it's supposed to be a little bit orange color. That uh, thick uh, dark orange color, that means that it's uh, a good egg. But if you buy it from the store, you get that really bright yellow. It don't contain that much of healthy cholesterol and different fats, uh, fats like omega 3 fats. Omega 3 fats, you can find that in egg too. So, yeah. 
my best uh, and favorite egg is from the brother Bong. <laughs> Love it. And I rather eat it raw though, so I eat raw eggs. Two in the morning, around three at night time before sleep. So guys, what I have done now is to add some water into the meat and as you can see we have a lot of milk in the bottom so what we're going to do now is to separate this meat from the milk by doing that we can start taking some in the hand squeeze out all the juice and put it somewhere else where it's not disturbing this bowl so we're gonna repeat this until it's no meat left and that's the milk we want because later we're going to separate the milk and the oil from each other so yeah so what I'm doing now is to filter out the last particles that's in the way when I'm making the oil now so I'm gonna add slowly the coconut milk like this and sometimes I can help it out because this is a really refining filter by pressing them down to separate and widen the holes where the milk is going through and you notice it's a lot of dirt in the bottom here preventing the milk to getting through so you help a little bit swirling around like this so in this can the refined milk should end up there okay guys this is the refined milk yeah, as you can see nice and it's ready to become oil so yeah let's make oil of it so uh, while we start this fire here now in this primitive uh, oven we're gonna take this coconut milk we're gonna add it in this bowl and we're gonna slowly cook out all the water until it's only oil left so yeah we are back to you when it's hot enough So yeah, we can add the milk now. Yeah, it seems hot enough now. And uh, what I'm going to do now is just leave it until it starts cooking. And uh, yeah, when it starts cooking, we will stir it around slowly for maybe one hour, 40 minutes, and then we should see a separation with the milk and the oil. The milk will uh, clump together and look like cheese and the oil will be left. Ah, it's so wonderful smell. For those who haven't made organic coconut oil, love it. So yeah, let's wait until it starts cooking. So as you can see guys, it's really start boiling, almost like boiling sugar and the oil and the milk separation has started and yeah, we'll be back to you guys when the oil is done. You can see the oil separated, <laughs> okay be right back. So yeah. We have a full separation now between the milk and the oil and yeah it's time to make oil of this put it in bottles perfect coconut virgin oil so yeah guys here's the done product i let it cool down before i filter it out so i have a cup here i'm going to add the oil in the filter here and let it drain through and to be honest from two coconuts i got pretty much we will measure up how much it is in the end so yeah there's the cheese like stuff inside and here i'm pouring out the nice virgin coconut oil So many good uses with the coconut oil. 
I recommend you guys use it for sure. In foods, you can use it in hair, but this product that I made now is just for skin and hair, so I don't recommend it use it in food stuff. So yeah, that's how you make virgin coconut oil. So roughly 90 centiliter, that's what I get uh, from uh, two coconut oil. So that was just one wash with the meat, coconut meat. So I got uh, only coconut meat from wash, uh, one wash. You can wash it twice, that's the thing, but I only did one wash and gave the rest to her brother. So he will use it in the chicken food. So yeah, that's, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and yeah, leave a like, subscribe, and this episode, <laughs> okay, not episode, <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, what do I call it, uh, this coconut video, coconut oil video, <laughs> leave a like, subscribe, and peace, we see you next time, bye bye.